How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope that the weather where you are is a little bit nicer than here where I am. Because when they said, oh, you're gonna start seeing some snow, I thought they meant like literally there'd be some flurries. But I had to spend 20 minutes last night brushing snow off of my car, which is great. I love it. I love winter. I am thriving and I am definitely dead behind the eyes. Things are great. So what are we doing here today? Good question. I thought it would be fun if every month I did just like a little recap of everything I have been listening to for that month. Um, you know, sometimes making a video for every single song I listen to doesn't sound very practical, especially as somebody who works many jobs. I can't always just like drop everything to film, which sucks because I want to talk about these songs and share them with you, but it doesn't make sense. So I thought at the end of the month, I could just recap everything cool that I think you might like, and we can talk about it in more of like a, like a snapshot of each song kind of way, if that makes sense. But you see, this month, I have been gone from YouTube for six months. So this list is a little bit long and is probably missing a lot of stuff. But these are some things that I'm really passionate about right now that I thought you might like. So this month will definitely be a little bit of a bumpy ride, but going forward it should be easier. And I'm gonna have a playlist with all of this music in it so that you can easily check them out on Spotify as opposed to like going to individually find every person. I will have links below to the playlist and maybe some social media for some of these bands so you can find them individually. But if you're new here, hello, I'm Paige, it's nice to meet you, um, thanks for stopping by. This is my new channel, I had an old channel, but now that channel is dead. So we're starting from scratch over here. If you like any of the song recommendations that I give you today, maybe share this video with a friend. It would be very much appreciated. And subscribe? I don't know. Up to you. Do your thing. Let's talk about some music. So the first artist that I feel like I need to talk about or I'm going to explode is No Rome. Oh my god. He's signed a dirty hit. He's been working with Maddie and George from the 1975 on his new EP, which is like mind-blowingly good. I love it so much. He has a song called Narcissist with the 1975 and then you may recognize him. He was in the two-time, two-time, two-time video. Um, with, he has blue hair if that helps. It's just like something about his energy and the music and just like him and Maddie together, their little bromance is like so heartwarming. Everything about it just makes me feel happy. I feel like it improved my quality of life finding No Rome. So if you also want to feel that way, you should totally listen to this EP. Um, I will put that in the playlist and link it below. Um, looking at this, I realized that I have actually made this list CanCon completely by accident. I've been listening to a lot of Canadian music, it seems. Good for me. That's so nice. Look at me go. Support my country. Um, I'm gonna put all those artists together so that maybe I can play O Canada behind it. It'll be really inspiring and maybe I'll get content claimed by Justin Trudeau. Hmm, maybe we'll see. Anyways, but I'll talk about the non-Canadian artists first because I already started with No Rome and he's not Canadian. So next is Joji. I have been off of the internet so long that I didn't tell you about my thoughts on the In Tongues EP or Ballads 1. So good for me for that. Anyway, In Tongues was a great EP. Really loved Demons and Will He and Window. Um, Ballads 1? Full step up. I thought I loved the EP. The album really took it to another level. Um, the video content along with it has been really fun. I've been enjoying that as well. Um, I'm a sucker for good music videos though. Joji's album has a lot of really good songs if you want to find somewhere to start. Um, no Fun, Test Drive, Can't Get Over You, Yeah Right, Attention. It's good. Just listen to the whole thing, honestly. I'll throw the best songs into my playlist, but Go out of your way to listen to the whole thing. Trust me on that one. Um, and he just sold out two shows in Toronto. Both shows I logged on at exactly 10 a.m. to get tickets and got nothing, so I'm gonna sulk until the shows are over in February, so that'll be great. Next on the list is somebody I have been yelling about on YouTube for mm, literally years now, and I can already hear you rolling your eyes because you know what I'm gonna say, but it's Tor Miller. He just put out a fantastic new album called Surviving the Suburbs, which um, hits a little bit close to home because I am in the suburbs and surviving. 
Um, but it's really cathartic hearing it from somebody else's point of view and listening to them talk about it. Um, makes me feel less like I'm whining, you know? Um, but he also has the voice of an angel. So even if you don't live in the suburbs, like it's a win-win no matter what you have going on. I have never had so many responses to an Instagram story in my life as I did after his show this week. Just from people being like, who is he and why does he sound that good? And you're absolutely right. He sounds incredible. Okay, I am looking at the album track listing because I couldn't remember what my favorite songs were because I just kind of listened to the full album on a loop and don't really pick out specific songs. I just like the whole thing. Um, but I think favorite songs, Surviving the Suburbs is really good, Stop the World, Friends With You. Friends With You is probably like, that's the one that'll hook you. Listen to Friends With You. The whole thing is good. <sighs> the feeling is really good too. I'm torn. Anyways. I'll put the, I'll, mm, I'll pick some. I'll just kind of pick some for the playlist. This is gonna be really bad because I'm not gonna be able to pick songs. I'm just gonna be like, listen to everything for everyone. I have to rethink this video concept. Anyway, let's keep going. Listen to Tor Miller. The next band I totally fell in love with this summer. I had a big drive that I was going on and I knew I needed new music to keep me like from going crazy in the car. And Zach tweeted me to say I should listen to Now Now and oh, my god, I fell in love so fast. I I didn't have service on my phone and I get car sick so I can't look at my phone when I'm in the car. And I was like shaking the whole way to my destination being like, I need to tell somebody about this but I can't physically do anything right now. And it was stressing me out. This album, it's called Saved. I love it so much. The first track, SGL, immediately I was like, oh my god, here we go. This is my album. It is so good. I cannot say enough good things about this. If you haven't listened yet, like you probably have, because like I said, this is six months of stuff. You've definitely heard a lot of this. But best songs are SGL, MJ, AZ, Holy Water, Drive, Set It Free. Oh god, the whole thing. But like, really really a spectacular album. And this is the problem. This is the problem when I just talk about things I care about. I care so much about all of them, I can't condense my thoughts, and I can't show you which ones are better because I'm already just choosing like my top 1%. So, this video is really high stakes at all times. If there's anything I learned in improv class, it's that high stakes are good for improv. I just don't know if high stakes are good for a video where I'm trying to tell you things that you should check out because if everything is high stakes, how do you prioritize? Anyways, let's move on to the next one. There are so many. Um, next, can I just quickly mention Poppy's new album, Am I a Girl? Um, I didn't care for most of it, but the Poppy and Grimes track is so out of control and it's exactly what the inside of my head sounds like 24-7 and like the part, like it just, their voices kill me because they're both so high pitched and when Grimes is like, Poppy, I'm dying and she's like, it's a Hollywood moment. I scream in the car every single time. It's so funny to me but it's such a wild song and I, I just can't wrap my head around it and I can't stop listening to it because it is so much to process and I'm not physically capable but I love it. Um, so like that one song, please, please go listen to it. Next we have an album that literally just came out a few hours ago as of when I'm filming this and it's Can't Swim's This Too Won't Pass. I love it so much. All of the singles leading up to it were so good. Like like blew the rest of their music out of the water and I've loved everything they've made but I was also worried because I was like these singles are really strong what if the rest of the album is filler because I hate when that happens but the whole album is really strong and I think it might be my favorite thing they've released so far so definitely check that one out too oh my god everything is so good this year the next band I wanted to mention to you is called Bronco my friend Alex showed them to me and they are, I don't know how to describe them. They're both super high energy and also really chill at the same time. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know. I always say I don't know how to deal with a genre, but like it really becomes 
a nuisance at times like these where I wish I could just summarize something and I can't, but the first three songs are definitely my favorites. It's All Choked Up, Weekend, and Boys Gotta Go. Those are my three favorites. Definitely check it out. And while you're checking it out, my friend Alex, who showed me this band, has a band called Hollow Graves, and I have been listening to their album on a loop for the last month. It's really fun. Um, I just went to like their first gig, also a really good time. So maybe go show them some love on Spotify or Instagram or wherever um, so that they can tour where you are because their live show is fantastic and I want you guys to experience that too. So no pressure, but like, pressure. A couple of songs that I've been listening to, I feel like they require less of an explanation because they're single songs. Um, Bring Me the Horizon's new song, Wonderful Life. I really liked Mantra, but Wonderful Life did something new for me. Like it, it was like the perfect combination of everything Bring Me has done over the years. I don't know, I just really liked it and I really would love to hear it live. They don't have any Toronto shows booked yet, but we will pray. My friend Joe Wood has a new song called Alone. You may have heard about Parking Lots. I premiered it on my blog, but he has a new song out. Now there's two songs. Oh my God, you can listen to both of them on my playlist or everywhere and you should tell him how much you love him because he's fantastic. And I forgot to explain the songs to you because I just got so excited for a minute. Um, it's very much, I don't know, I can feel like the 1975 influence in it, but it's not, it doesn't sound like he's ripping off the 1975. You know when people like can take influence from things without just becoming it? I feel like Joe has nicely taken bits from things he enjoys to make something his own. So you should definitely check those songs out and go tell Joe you love him and that's kind of, that's kind of the whole thing. You should do that. Everything the 1975 has been doing has been incredible. Um, they started with Give Yourself a Try and I was kind of like, on the fence. I was like, I feel like I don't know if I like this, but I can't stop listening. And then Love It If We Made It came out and I was like, oh wait, this might be the, my favorite song they've ever made. And then Two Time, Two Time, Two Time came out and I was like, oh no, this is better. And then Sincerity Is Scary came out and I was like, well this blows everything out of the water. And then It's Not Living If It's Not With You came out. And now I'm just very conflicted. Um, I think by the time the album comes out, there won't be any songs left to show us. So I kind of wish they'd slow down on that, but that's okay. We only have a couple weeks left. Oh my God, we're gonna have a new album in a couple weeks. Oh, don't panic, Paige, it's gonna be fine. But like everything they've done so far has been so good. Mm, I can't wait for the whole album, oh my God. Next on my list is a YouTuber song. Um, do you know Christina Rotondo? Because you should. But she has a new band called Day and they have a song called Reverie and it's so good. It's ugh, and the video is really cool too. And like she's just so cool. I don't know how she does it. I wish I knew. But like the song, like I wish Warp Tour was still around just because I feel like that would be perfect for Warp Tour. Like I would love to go. Oh man, but I don't miss Warp Tour at all. So like whatever. But this song is really good and I'm gonna leave links to it below. And actually, if you watched my first video on this channel at the end there's like a little end screen with a laptop and that video is playing on the laptop. So that's a fun fact for you. Another artist we didn't get to talk about because I was gone is Zand. Um, they released two songs, Boys Like You and Lucy. You need to hear these songs. I listen to Boys Like You every single day since the first day I heard it. They're, they're that good. Please listen to those songs. I am begging you and follow Zand on Instagram, just because you should. That's kind of it. And um, the new Billie Eilish track, When the Party's Over. <sighs> um, ow, it hurts just to think about, but hurts even more to listen to, oh boy. How is she still a child? Like, how is she doing this? She's so talented, I wanna scream. Microwave is a band I've also yelled about for a long time and they released a new song called Keeping Up that I have been listening to a lot and I just, oh man, I hope there's an album announcement coming because I love them and Much Love is one of my favorite albums I think ever. 
and the fact that they're gonna have another album someday and I might like it more kind of stresses me out but I'm so excited I just want to hear more Okay, two more, and then we get into our little CanCon segment. Young Rising Suns. They had a song a few years ago called High. They toured with the 1975. You probably have heard them a lot. They were all over the radio and like every commercial on TV. They have a new song called Sad, Clap Your Hands that I can't stop listening to. It's on like all of my playlists, but I'll make sure it's on this one too. But it's just like... I don't know, it makes me want to dance. Every time I hear it, I just kind of start moving. It's become a nuisance in the car because sometimes you can't move. You're supposed to be driving a vehicle and responsible for the safety of others. Um, and I'm too busy just like grooving. It's, it's a danger to society, but like it's a really good song. So there's that. And then Baby by Clean Bandit, Marina and the Diamonds, and Louise Fonzi. Whew, that's a song. I wish it came out earlier in the summer because that would have been the song of the summer. I swear to God, it is so addictive. If you haven't heard it yet, please go out of your way to listen to it six times in a row. Her voice is incredible. If this means there's a new Marina album on the way, like, thank you. And now it's time for CanCon. Please stand for the national anthem. The first album is The Dirty Nails Master Volume. I think everybody in the Canadian rock scene has been talking about this non-stop. I also saw posters for this album when I was in LA and I felt like I was kind of like trapped between dimensions or something, which was kind of cool. I think my favorite song is still the first track on the album, That's What Heaven Feels Like, but it's very closely followed by I Don't Want That Phone Call and Evil Side. Oh, just the whole album is really good. If you like rock music, like, you'll obviously love this album. Please just go out of your way. Go listen to it. Next is The Glorious Sons. You may have seen them on my Instagram story. I hopped on their tour for a couple days. My best friend is their tour manager, so I joined them on the bandwagon, and we went on a little adventure, and it was a great time. They are wonderful guys, and their new album, Young Beauties and Fools, um, I've listened to it before and really enjoyed it, but seeing it live really, really changed it for me. They're doing a bunch of Canadian dates right now, and then they're back in the US for a tour in early next year. If they come through your city, I like cannot tell you how much I recommend you go to this show. They put on an insane show. You have to see it for yourself. But their new album, Young Beauties and Fools, the best track, I like, as soon as I heard it, I was like, this is it, this is my song. Called SOS Sawed Off Shotgun. There is nothing, nothing in the world like singing this song live at the top of your lungs while like body banging. It'll change you as a person. Um, but the whole album is great. The other singles that you might have already heard, because I think they're starting to get a lot of radio play in the US too. There's a song called Josie that is also fantastic, and a song called Everything Is Alright. But SOS is like, that's the track. Next is another band I yell about a lot on the internet. Um, it's Heavy Hearts. I just love them so much and everything they put out is like leagues ahead of the last thing they put out. Like, talk about growth. Some bands really just kind of stick in their niche and just stay there, but Heavy Hearts just continues to impress me every time they do literally anything. Um, their new song, Cut Too Deep, is just so good. And they put it out on a flexi disc. Um, I think there's still some available. I think I saw them in their like web store on New Damage, but it has that on one side and then an alternate version of Your Head on the other. Your Head is like my favorite song they ever made. And the alternate version is so, so alternate, um, but they're both so good for different reasons. So Heavy Hearts, you should just listen to everything they've ever done, but Cut Too Deep is a great new single. Great first look at the new album, which I am dying to have on vinyl in my hands. Next is a band that I discovered through Submit Hub. They submitted their song to me. It's a really cool way for me to get submissions of new bands I haven't heard of before, but it gets really out of control really fast, and then I have to shut it off because I get stressed out and I have like 700 pending submissions right now that I haven't looked at, and it's fine, I'm fine. But this band I'm so glad I found. They're called Fadeaways, and they're from Toronto, and they have a song called Get Along, and it reminds me of like old Arctic Monkeys, but like, cooler, if possible. Please listen to this song. I am so obsessed with it. I just like yell in the car to this song. 
when you hear the chorus you'll understand but it's literally just like yelling essentially um oh god it's so good oh my god they're so good i love finding new bands that are here because it means i can probably go to their shows really easily because they probably play here a lot oh my god it's such a good feeling i missed one on my album list i had it all separated and then i just missed one in the wreckage of this list seaway their new album vacation I was really, really late to the game on listening to it. The whole album is so fantastic. Um, there's a song called London, and I relate to it a little bit too closely, and that's okay. Curse Me Out may be my favorite song. Actually, the whole album. Honestly, I don't think I could pick a favorite, but Curse Me Out is the one that's always stuck in my head. Like, it's stuck in my head right now while I'm talking, um, which is hard to process both at the same time, but I'm managing. Um, but Seaway always puts out songs that have a perfect mix of being like fresh and new and not feeling stale But also has some sort of like nostalgia factor that makes me feel alive <laughs> Definitely listen to that album, please and then the last artist on my list her name is Bulo She is from Europe, but also here. I think she lives here now, which is why I am including her as a Canadian her song she had a song on the radio a lot called Not A Love Song. You've probably heard that one. But this song is called You and Jennifer, and it is so scathing, so honest, so real. I, the first time I heard it, I had to pause it because I my jaw dropped and I was like, oh. I can't explain the feeling I had when I first heard it. I had it sent to me by Vivo because they did this Vivo Discover series with her. I will share the link to that below because the live version is really cool. But Vivo Discover has been doing a lot of cool stuff. I'll share more on that another time. That is not, we're not talking about that right now. This live version of you and Jennifer changed me as a person and I will never be the same. I literally felt myself not being a pushover anymore because I heard this song. Oh my God, I just, and she's so young too. What is with all these young women making music? That makes me feel like I have definitely need to talk to a therapist to get on their level of like clarity in the world. Thank God I have a therapist. <laughs> okay, so for today, that is where I am cutting the list or we are going to be here all day. But please share with me below. What are you guys listening to right now? What have you been listening to this year? What is cool? What do you not like? What did you like some of and not the rest of? Like literally just give me all of your music opinions below. I would love to talk to you about them because I know I'm missing a lot off of this list right now. If you liked this video and you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it so much if you just took a second out of your day to do that and share this video with a friend if you liked any of these music recommendations or you think they might like some of these music recommendations. It really helps me to get this channel out there again. The YouTube algorithm is um, just as hard the second time around, so I really appreciate any support you have for my little channel. But hey, this is it. I will let you go. I've, had, I've held you here for too long already, but I will see you again very soon, aka tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. So with that being said, I will let you enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great day, listen to some music, and then come back and tell me about it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.